viewers, my name is Dr. Ajay, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering College, Hyderabad. Today, we are going to discuss the topic on uh, the problems of uh, parabolic reflector antenna. So, today's topic is the problems on reflect parabolic reflector antenna. And uh, uh, this topic is related to the course, Antenna's Waves and Propagation. So, this uh, topic is related to our course, that is the Antenna's Waves and Propagation. Uh, let us start our uh, session today. A paraboloid of uh, 1.8 di diameter is used at 6 GHz. Calculate beam width between the nulls and the gain in dB. So we are going to calculate the parabola reflector of 1.8 uh, meters in diameter. If the, as per the given data, the parabolic reflector diameter is given as 1.8 meters. So we know that the parabolic, uh, the paraboloid it will be in three dimensional representation, it will be like this. Uh, this is the focal point, let us see here. The diameter it is given as this diameter, it is given as 1.8 meters. And also the frequency, the diameter is denoted by the symbol D is equal to 1.8 meters here. Also, the frequency is given as 6 GHz. So, giga means nothing but 6 into 10 power 9 H we can convert into SI. And we need to calculate the beam width between the nulls and also the gain in the dB. So, before calculating the beam width, let us calculate the value of lambda. We know that C is equal to F lambda. C is equal to F lambda and lambda is equal to C by F. So what you see here, the velocity of light is denoted as 3 into 10 power 8 meters per second. Also the frequency is given as in the problem as 6 into 10 power 9. So here you can cancel 3 ones and 3 twos, 10 power 8 and 10 power 9. And overall you will get 1 by 20. So 1 by 20, is if you simplify, you will get 0 0.05 meters. So 1 by 20 is nothing but 0 0.05 meters. So, for this, we need to calculate the value of beam width between the first nulls. The angle between the uh, first nulls, we call it as beam width between the first nulls. The angle between the first nulls, the angle between the first nulls of a parabola, we call it as a beam width between the nulls. So, the BWFN, it is given by 140 into lambda by D, in it is measured in degrees. It is measured in degrees. So this equal to 140 into the value of lambda we got as 0 0.05 meters here. So we got the value of lambda as 0 0.05 meters. Let us substitute this 0 0.05 here. And the value of D it is given as 1.8 meters. It is given as 1.8 meters. So if you simplify this, uh, this you will get uh, approximately 3.8889 degrees. So we can also round off this uh, the nearest value as 3.89 degrees value. Because we can also, uh, the, uh, the beam width in the first nulls is given as 3.89 degrees here. And also we are going to calculate the gain in dB. And also we are, we are uh, we need to calculate the gain in dB. So here the gain is nothing but the power gain of the paraboloid. The power gain it is represented by the symbol GP here. So BWFN is we got as 3.89 degrees. And we are going to calculate now the power gain of the parabola reflector, which is given by 4 pi A naught by lambda square. 4 pi a naught by lambda square, where in this expression a naught is given as k into a, k into a. So k is taken as 0 0.65 for a dipole antenna, for a dipole antenna. As we all know that the parabolic reflector antenna it is a secondary antenna and on the focal point of the parabolic reflector antenna we are going to place uh, the source antenna or the primary antenna here in our problem we are going to take uh, the dipole let us assume here this is a if this is a parabolic 
and here there is a focal point. Assume this has a dipole antenna. Assume this has a dipole antenna here. So from here, all the uh, it is the electromagnetic rays are going, going towards the parabolic reflector antenna. And here for this antenna, the k value is taken as 0 0.65. And a naught is equal to k into a. So a naught is equal to k into a. We know that the a means actual area. A naught is a capture area. So a naught and a k. A naught means the capture area, and here A represents the here A represents the actual area. The actual area it is nothing but the physical area. The physical area of the parabola we call it as an actual area. The capture area is nothing but where the uh, the radiation of electromagnetic energy absorption is taking place by the reflector antenna. That portion of area we call it as a capture area. So the capture area and the actual area are related by the equation A naught is equal to K into A, where K is a constant it depends upon what type of primary source antenna we are going to use for exciting the parabolic reflector antenna. So K represents a value which depends upon what type of antenna we are going to use for excitation of the parabolic reflector antenna. So it depends upon the primary antenna. It depends upon the primary antenna what we are going to consider. So here we are going to consider as a dipole antenna. Hence, this k value can be taken as a 0 0.65. So it is a standard value 0 0.65 for a, a primary antenna that is a dipole antenna. So if we substitute these values here, you will get gp is equal to 4 pi into what is the value of a naught? a naught is equal to k into a. k into a by lambda square. If we simplify this, 4 into pi value is 3.14. The k value is 0 0.65. And the value of a, and we need to find out the value of a, let us write as a by lambda. We know that the value of lambda is 0 0.05. The value of uh, lambda is 0 0.05. Now, what is A? A is nothing but it is the, uh, the area of the parabola reflector. The area of the parabola reflector antenna is given as pi r square. Why? Because it is a circular in shape. The parabola is circular in shape. So, the area of the circle is, we know that it is pi r square. So, we know that D is equal to as the data given is in the diameter. In the problem, the data is given as diameter. We need to convert the radius into diameter. The diameter is equal to 2 times of radius. And R is equal to, we know that D by 2 here. R is equal to D by 2 here. So, if you substitute this value here, in this uh, uh, A, you will get A is equal to pi into D by 2 whole square here. Pi into D by 2 whole square. So, this is equal to pi into D square by 4. So this is the value of A. This is the value of A. So we need to substitute this value in this equation. We need to substitute this value in, in this equation. So if you substitute the value of A here, so what you will get is, so you will get here this value 4 into 3.14 into 0 0.65 into pi again we are getting a, a pi d square so it is 3.14 into d square so pi d square means is the d means 1.8 square 1.8 square whole divided by 4 into 0 0.05 you will get so this if you substitute and simplify you will uh, uh, you will get 8314 8314 Point one five four seven. This is the value of GP. This is the value of GP we are getting. And here, if you substitute, uh, if you convert this into dB, you will get thirty nine point thirty nine point one nine eight seven dB. Thirty nine point one nine eight seven dB here. So this is the value of GP. So we got. So like this, we need to calculate the, uh, for the given data, we are going to calculate the beam width between the nulls and the power gain. So just we need to know the formula. The beam width between the first nulls, it is given by 140 into lambda by t. 
and also the power gain of the parabolic reflector antenna it is given by gp is equal to 4 pi into uh, uh, gp into 4 pi into uh, 4 pi into a naught by lambda square here so a naught is nothing but it is uh, ka the relationship between the actual area and the physical area is given as uh, a naught is equal to ka so by simplifying all this we can uh, get uh, substituting all the values of the given data in the formula we can find out the value of gp we will get the value of gp in the decimal value we need to convert it into db so the db is uh, given as a 10 log gp base 10 so gp if we got in decimal value so we need to convert into db so 10 log gps that is 10 log 8314.1547 if you simplify this in db you will get 39.19 db here so you can see here the lambda value as a c by f here the bwfn is equal to 140 into lambda by d here uh, just we have substituted the value of lambda and d we got 3.89 degrees here uh, similarly uh, you can substitute gp is equal to 4 pi a naught by lambda square where a naught is equal to ka and k is equal to 0 0.65 and a is equal to pi d square by 4 here so this is we got the value of in decimal value this is the decimal value and uh, we need to convert this into the db value by this equation 10 log 8314.147 into uh, 1 phi db similarly we are going to do the another problem uh, based upon the parabolic reflector antenna Evaluate the power gain, the directivity and required diameter of a paraboloid having a null beam width, having a required diameter in dB, having a null beam width of 10 degrees at 3 gigahertz. So let us write the, let us first write the given data here. The beam width, it is given as, it is 10 degrees. The beam width it is given as 10 degrees here. And the frequency it is given as 3 gigahertz. And we need to find out the value of GP. We need to find out the value of uh, directivity for the given data. For the given data. So yeah, let us find out the value of uh, lambda first. So we know that C is equal to F lambda. We know that C is equal to F lambda. And lambda we know that C by F. What is C value? It is, it is 3 into 10 power 8. And the value of the given F frequency is 3 into 10 power 9 it is given as 0 0.1 meters so lambda is equal to 0 0.1 meters we got and similarly we are going to find out the value of d so the value of diameter the di this is the directivity this uh, capital d stands for directivity and the value of diameter it is not given and we need to find out from the given data we know that uh, bw fn is equal to 140 into lambda by d here the value of uh, beam width in the first terms it is given as 10 degrees is equal to 140 into the value of lambda is 0 0.1 by d so what is from this equation we need to find out the value of d this is equal to 140 into 0 0.1 by 10 by 10 so from this equation, we are going to find out the value of D as you'll get 140, uh, 1.4 meters. So you'll get 1.4 meters. So this is the value of D here. So as for the given problem, so we need to calculate the power gain, directivity and the required diameter. So the diameter is, we got the diameter as 1.4 meter. Similarly, we are going to find out the power gain. So what is the power gain formula? GP is equal to 4 pi into A naught by lambda square. So what is 4 pi? 4 into 3.14 into A naught is equal to Ka by lambda square. So this is equal to 4 into 3.14 into the value of K is 0 0.65. That is the primary source antenna is taken as a dipole antenna the k value for a dipole antenna which we use as an exciting antenna it is the value is 0 0.65 into a a is nothing but pi d square by 4 divided by lambda square so if you simplify this you will get 4 into 3.14 into 0 
into pi into the value of d we got as 0 0.1 here. The value of d we got as 0 0.1 here. Let us substitute this 0 0.1 square by 4 into the value of uh, the lambda. Sorry, d is 1.4 here. d is 1.4 here. 1.4 square and the value of lambda is 0 0.1 square here. So if we simplify this, uh, you will get 1 to uh, 57, point 0.8. This is the decimal value we got. So we will get 1 to 57.38. We will get 38. So we need to convert this into dB. So GP is equal to 10 log 1257.38 base 10. So if you convert this into dB, you will get 30.99 dB. So overall, if you simplify, you will get 30.99 dB here. So this is the uh, method to find out the value of GP. First, we need to find out the diameter. After getting the diameter, we need to find out the value of A. A is equal to pi d square by 4 and a naught is equal to k. So all these equations we need to know to simplify this problem here. So you can see here how to find the value of d here. The power gain for the parabola with the circular mode is given there 4 pi a naught by lambda square here. And similarly we need to find out the value of d here. What is d? The d value is directivity. So directivity is given by pi square into d square by lambda square. This is equal to 3.14 whole square. The value of d, the diameter is 1.4 square by lambda square is 0 0.1 square. We got the lambda value as 0 0.1. So the directive is given by pi d by lambda whole square. Simply we can write as a d is equal to pi d by lambda whole square. Or we can also write as 3.14 whole square into 1.4 square by 0 0.1 square here. So if you simplify this, you will get 1934.5. We'll get 1934.5. If we convert this into dB, that is 10 log uh, 1934.5 base 10, you will get 32.86 dB here. 32.86 dB here. So like this, we need to find out the value of uh, the directivity, the uh, diameter, the actual area, or we can also find out the power gain. So for these uh, problems, uh, refer the textbook. <coughs> refer the textbook uh, Antennas and Wave Propagation by U. A. Bakshi, the K. D. Prasad, Satyanand Prakash Antennas and Wave Propagation. So these are the problems we have discussed today. The problems are based upon <coughs> the problems are based upon the parabolic reflector antenna. Uh, we need to we have determined the value of uh, power gain, we have determined the value of uh, the directivity, also we have determined the value of the diameter of the parabolic reflector antenna. So for reference, refer the textbooks Bakshi and Andrea's version propagation. Let us close the session today. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.